Let's talk about SS table split. A little used command, but when you need it, it will save you. So what does it do? Here's the situation. You ran a major compaction. Against everyone's advice, you did it. Well, what do you get out of it? You get SS table asaurus. That is a really big file. One SS table containing all the data in your node. Not recommended. So when that happens to you, luckily we have a way to get out of it. Now that may not be the only situation. For instance, if you have a situation where size to your compaction gets a lot of control, you have one huge file sitting over here that just won't ever get compacted again, sometimes you want to do a little manipulation on those files to break them up into chunks. Another place is level compaction. Level compaction over time can create some really large files that will never get compacted again. And if you're having trouble with old stale data, such as tombstones, you may need to break it up. This is a situation you won't run into all the time, but when you do, this is the tool to use. A better way to put SS table split is anti-compaction. Where compaction combine files, SS table split breaks them into pieces. How does it work? Before you do anything, stop your running Cassandra node. You can't have it running while you're running this. That's just a bad thing. Because what's gonna happen is it potentially could be compacting something that you're uncompacting, and then you're in trouble. The usage is pretty simple. If you look at this table, there's just a few options, but they're really important. So SS table split is done on an SS table, one of the data files sitting on your disk. So you have to provide that file name. The other thing that's really important is the size. How big do you want it to be? And then the other options are more or less like the verbose output, that sort of thing, or what's happening. But really what you wanna do is you wanna say, here's a file name, here's the size that I want, go do it. This command that you see in front of you is essentially taking every single SS table in the users table in the killer video key space and breaking them up into 40 megabyte chunks. It's just breaking them all down. This is a good example of say you did a major compaction or something really bad on that one key space. So use SS table split when you need it. And when you need it, you're really gonna love it because it does do an effective job of breaking it down. So now you know how it works, go use it effectively. <laughs>